I thank the permanent representative of Malta for his statement, and I next call upon the permanent representative of Lebanon to take the floor. Allow me first to congratulate you, uh, wish you success, and also align uh, ourselves with the statement delivered on behalf of the G77 and China. Mr. Chairman, we do not meet here today to discuss what women want, but rather what the world needs. The 60th session of the CSW comes at an important juncture in the work of the United Nations and offers an opportunity to translate the commitments and gains from the 2030 agenda, the Addis Ababa action uh, uh, agenda, and the 2015 political declaration into concrete steps and measures toward realizing planet 5050 by 2030. Leaving no one behind, inclusiveness and dignity for all, sustainable development, peace and, wor and security worldwide, all of these cannot be achieved as long as half the world population is still marginalized or not fully enjoying their human rights or sadly often victim of the worst forms of discrimination and violence. Women and girls' rights, gender equality, and the empowerment of women and girls are at the core of the agenda for sustainable development, both as a standalone goal and as gender-sensitive targets across 11 other goals. We need, and I quote, transformative change in, poli in policies, practices, and partnerships, as so well expressed in the Secretary General's report, in order to, and I quote anew, create more just societies, inclusive economies, and a sustainable planet, end of quote. A gender-responsive manner to implement the Agenda 2030 requires, among other priorities, equal access to quality education, to information and technology, also equal access to the highest attainable standard of physical and mental health, including sexual and reproductive health and rights, and equal access to economic and financial resources and to markets, and the equal access to political participation, decision-making, and leaderships at all levels, as well as the protection of women and girls from all forms of discrimination and violence. Women play an important role in the prevention and resolution of conflicts and peace building. They are also in the front line in the fight against terrorism, hence the need to transform their status from vulnerable victims to agents of change, and the necessity to end impunity for all forms of violence against women and girls, especially in armed conflicts. My delegation believes in the important role of civil society, and in this regard, the need to ensure a safe and enabling environment for human rights defenders to promote and protect human rights, def democracy, good governance, and the rule of law. Needless to say that gender equality and the empowerment of women and girls cannot be achieved without an increased engagement in this task of men and boys at all levels. Mr. Chairman, finally, let me stress that in Lebanon, despite the many challenges the country faces, and mainly the presence of more than 1.2 million registered Syrian refugees, which constitutes a serious threat to its stability and security and a burden on its development efforts, the Lebanese authorities have been working in close cooperation with civil society and the private sector, as well as with numerous regional and international partners in order to address the aspirations and commitments relevant to women and girls' rights. Finally, we look forward to the fruitful discussions of this session and a successful outcome that will reaffirm the global political will and put the framework for a gender responsive implementation of the sustainable development agenda. Thank you. I thank the permanent representative of Lebanon for his statement and I will